So one thing that a lot of hockey players have in common is that regardless of where we live, not all of us get enough time on the ice to develop and become better hockey players. We get to go to scrimmages, we get to go to games and training sessions, but for you to really be able to improve as a player, you need to be working on skills that are going to benefit you on the ice, at home, in parks, in a basketball court, just like we're in right now. So we're going to be taking you through a series of drills and skills that you can practice. It's not only going to build your skills and development as a hockey player, but it's also going to give you a lot of confidence and improve all of those skills that we need to be able to get us scoring more goals on the ice. So now let's take a look at some stick handling drills. 360 puck handling. Rotate from one side of your body to the other while rolling your wrists and moving the puck in a 360 degree angle. Short and long reach stick handling. Having the ability to puck handle both in short motions and long motions is important for on ice situations. Make sure to practice your puck handling short distances as well as long distances. This will help you dramatically when trying to make deeks on the ice. Puck handling in motion. Puck handling is not a stationary skill. Make sure that you move around and create lots of space for yourself while also stick handling the puck. The minefield. Just like Patrick Kane, you can make your own minefield on the ground. Use any objects you want and stick handle it through and around them while trying to roll your wrists. Obstacle course. One of the greatest aspects of having so much room to train is you can make obstacle courses to challenge yourself. Find any item you want, any training aid you want, and go through them to the net. Here are some key points to remember when practicing puck handling off the ice. Make sure to always roll your wrists when puck handling. Try to keep your head up at all times. Work on puck handling around your entire body in a 360 degree angle. Work on both short and long reach puck handling. Challenge yourself with an obstacle course and other area drills. So hopefully we've shown you a couple of great ways that you can practice and use skills that are transferable from off the ice to on the ice to make you a better hockey player. But we want to know what you do when you're off the ice. What are your favorite drills? But most importantly, if there's anything you want us to shoot next that you'd like to see, comment down below and let us know. We make these videos specifically for you. So let us know what you'd like to see. But most importantly, pick up your hockey wraparounds at hockeywraparound.com. This thing allows you to practice anywhere. Let's leave the shooting boards in the past and let's move forward to these things. So a big thank you to Hockey Wraparound and of course Lee Elias for joining us during these videos, showing you how to become a better hockey player with the Hockey Wraparound. And also last but not least, massive thank you to the Peterborough Phantoms for joining us in this drill outside today. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the videos, join us on the social pages down below so you can stay connected. Subscribe and take care till next time. For you at home. So we've made some changes to have a better overall fit, a better experience, and most importantly, to make hockey more accessible for the people out in the world. We're both excited and proud to introduce the new Hockey Wraparound 1.